This video is going to show you how to create a video rendering um, of your space. So kind of like what you see on the design shows. Um, so what you're going to do to create this is click on render, little camera. And so what you've been using so far are um, the normal uh, option, aerial, and top view. So what we're going to do is click on video. Um, okay, so this is a nice feature, but it's only going to let you create a maximum of 20 second video clip, which is totally fine because it's not a very big space. And so 20 seconds will work just perfectly. Um, so I'm going to show you how this works. You're going to want to be in a two dimensional view to create the path, which the video you want the video to go. So pretend like you're walking through the space. What? How do you want the path to be um, for the camera? And then you want to watch also over here uh, to see what's the view like. Um, is the camera pointing the correct direction? So for example, I, I created a practice one and my camera was looking out the window and at the floor. So you want to make sure that not only is the path a good path to walk through the space, but also what's the camera looking at. So here's what you're going to do. You want to, I would recommend keeping the aspect ratio at the default, which is 16, 9. It gives the best uh, shape for the video. And then you're going to come down here and click on uh, or hover over add clip. Um, and so you have two options here. You can draw a straight path for the camera to follow or a curved path. Um, you can kind of try out both. I think the curved path works best. So I'm going to click on that. And then what that does is you can see it's creating a little plus sign. So it wants me to click and actually start creating my path. So I would recommend uh, starting at one of the entrance points to the space. Uh, that's entirely up to you. I'm going to start here because I kind of envision this as uh, the main entrance. So I'm going to click. And then what that does is you can see the curve that it is drawing. Um, and so at some point I need to release my path. So I'm just going to sweep all the way over from the single door to my slider and then click. So now here is the first path. So you can see it created the little clip down here. We're going to watch it in a second. Um, and this is where it's going to go. So now what we want to do is make sure that the camera view looks good in these points. You can see there's a little point here, here, and then here. Um, so right now it's looking out the slider. So I don't really want that. So let's fix that. So when you come, click on each point and then look over here. So right now it's facing the wall. So I'm going to turn, oops, turn the camera and watch how it goes. So I want the viewer to see right here. Okay. So for this first path. Okay. So maybe I'm going to, let's see, angle it just a little bit. in. Okay. Then I'm going to come to this point and watch. Okay. Well, this isn't great over here. I don't really need the camera to go right up against the accessories on my fireplace. So I'm going to swing it around. Oops. Keep grabbing the wrong spot. There it is, swing it around. So that looks pretty good. You can also do that right here. Okay, so that's a good shot. And then my next point over here, it's looking outside. So I definitely don't want that. So I'm just gonna swing that around and get a good view from that way. Okay, um, if you are having issues with this, sometimes switching this over here, this little path setting, you can uh, click target mode. Sometimes that fixes. So like if your camera just keeps uh, staying the you know in the wrong spot, you can do that. Like I think I'm gonna have issues with this one. So I'm gonna fix that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna watch this. So I can watch this little clip right here. So it's going to show over here. So I'm watching right here. And that looks. Oh, so my camera, you can see, was like on top of my fireplace. I'm probably going to fix that a little bit. Okay, so I'm not, I don't want that 
to go right up against, it went on top of my mantle. So I just scooped that over. Okay, so that looks good. I also, that was a little long. So I'm gonna shorten this clip to, um, let's try uh, eight seconds, okay? Um, all right, so next clip I wanna do maybe the dining space. So I'm gonna add a clip, another curve, and then I'm gonna maybe start right here and draw my curve kind of going through the dining space and then fix my camera angles for those. So I'm gonna grab that point, swing it around. Maybe I want to bring this in front of my cabinet, get a good view of the living room from this angle. Okay, that looks good. Check this camera. I need to swing this in the space. All right, and then this one, I want maybe more showing this angle. Okay, so then uh, that one's set at 12 seconds. I'm gonna bring that down to eight and then let's watch the whole thing. So there you can see it's moving a little bit faster through the space. And then there it's transitioning to my second clip. Okay, so that actually is pretty good um, as far as showing. I maybe will do one more clip and see what that looks like. Maybe I'll do um, right here to here and then fix those points. So it's really just gonna be some trial and error and figuring out what works best. You just want your video to show your entire space. So this is an angle we haven't seen yet. So I'm gonna show that and then maybe end with that. And then um, I need to make sure the total is 20 seconds. Um, so I'm gonna do, maybe I'll do seven, seven, and then six. You don't have to do three clips and this might look kind of silly. Um, so try it out and watch right here. So I'm wondering if that third clip will look kind of choppy. Um, see what it does. Make sure that your angle is good. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, one other option that you could do is right here is called the grow effect. So I'm gonna click this right here on all of them and I want you to see what that does. So this I feel like is really what you see on the design shows. So let me actually I'm gonna switch. Let's watch it in this view here. We'll come over here and I'm gonna push play one more time. Let me get this out of the way and play. So you can see the furniture is kind of coming, it's like growing into the space. So just an option, you could do it on one clip. All, so right now I have it marked for all, all three separate clips. Um, just kind of something unique because my clips are a little bit faster Maybe uh, you could do just two paths and do the grow method. Um, that was a lot going on in 20 seconds. So maybe um, I take it off this one, just whatever works. So when you're happy with this, you need to make sure that you are happy with it because once you generate the video, you're done. You can't do any more for this particular design. So make sure that it looks good. The camera angle is right. Um, and then make sure you preview it. If you wanna do the grow, you can do that. You don't have to and then you would click the generate video button and download it from there. 
um, then you should be able to upload it into either your portfolio or Google Slides or wherever the assignment is telling you to put it. So I hope you guys enjoy that feature and I can't wait to see those videos.